Good evening, Doll fans and NFL fans. This is your week 15 preview of the predictions for this week's games. First of all, I'd like to recap last week and what happened with last week. We were we weren't too bad. We were um, you know, one game over 500. Um, we were eight and seven. So, uh, now our record stands at, uh, 14 and 13. So we are still over 500. We did lose that Miami upset and we also lost the uh, Packer upset, but we picked some pretty good, pretty good uh, upsets as well. We picked the Broncos, the Cowboys, we picked the Vikings. I'm sorry, we picked the Raiders. Even though they lost 3-0, the, the spread was 3.5. Raiders covered. Um, we also picked the Rams, and they covered Baltimore. They were seven-point underdogs, and they actually lost by six. So lots of good lots of good picks, but we also uh, we struggled with, with, with the easy ones. So, you know, Pittsburgh lost, and... Um, Obviously, Miami is a big loss, and Packers are a big loss. So, with all that being said, we're still over 500. Record's still strong at 14 and 13. And this week, we're about to take it to the next level with some incredible picks. So, let's get it started. First, we have the Chargers at Las Vegas Raiders. Las Vegas is a three and a half point favorite. Um, both of these teams are really falling off the cliff pretty quickly here. I'm going to take the Raiders and the three points. We're going to say this is going to be a tight game, 20 to, 20 to 10, actually, because uh, the Chargers do not have Justin Herbert. Um, we going through the rest of the games, Vikings at Bengals. I'm taking the Red Hot Bengals with the three points at the uh, with the Vikings. Uh, Justin Jefferson looks like he's out, and uh, Jake Browning is doing his thing. So we're going to take the Bengals minus the three points. We're going to say that the Bengals win 24 to 10. Next game, we have the Steelers over the Colts. Uh, Colts are one and a half point favorites. I uh, hate these type of games. I'm going to say the Steelers will cover the one and a half points and they will actually win outright. I don't know how they do it, but they always end up winning these type of games. Um, Steelers 17, Colts 16. Broncos at Lions. I am going to go with the Broncos and the four points. They might not win it, but they're going to get the four points. They're always in the game. And they're one of the hottest teams right now at seven and six. So the Broncos are going to, to I'm predicting they're going to win this game at Detroit. And they're going to win uh, 24 to 21. Um, that's on a Saturday game, by the way. The Steelers and the Broncos and Lions are Saturday games. Sunday. We start with the Bears and the Browns. I've been picking against the Browns all week for the last couple of weeks. I'm going to go with the Browns and and covering the three points. We're going to go with the Browns winning 17 to 10 against the Bears at home. Buccaneers, Packers, minus three for the Green Bay Packers. Um, at home, I am going to take them and the three and a half. And we're going to go with the Packers coming back from an upset. And they're going to win 27 to 20. Texans at the Titans. Wow. The Titans are two and a half point favorites. How quickly do the odds change? But I'm going to take the Texans on this one. I think they will cover. I think they will win outright. Texans 21, Titans 20. That's at the Dolphins. Eight and a half point favorites. Um, I already made my prediction on this earlier. Dolphins, 24, Jets, 17, so the Jets will cover, but the Dolphins will win 24-17. Um, I have to be 
very conservative on this one because I got really burnt last week. Uh, Chiefs at Patriots. This is a no-brainer. Chiefs will win. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on with the Patriots. Bill Belichick, the whole team, they're trying to tank. We're going to go with the Chiefs here. We're going to take the Chiefs on a 28 to 10 win. New York Giants are six and a half point under the of underdogs against the Saints. We're going to take the Saints and the points. We're going to take the Saints 28 to 17 against Tommy DeVito and the New York Giants. Falcons at Panthers. The Atlanta Falcons are three point favorites on the road. They will cover against the Panthers, who are going for the number one pick. And the Panthers will lose to the Falcons 28-7. Commanders at the Rams. The Rams are getting six and a half point, six and a half point favorites. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Commanders covering the six and a half points. We're going to pick the Commanders in a close one, but the Rams will win 24-21. Commanders will lose, but the but they will cover. 49ers at the Cardinals. Ooh, 12 and a half point favorites for the 49ers. I got a roll with the 49ers and the 12 and a half points. 49ers are gonna win this one. 38 to 10 to the Cardinals. Dallas Cowboys at the Buffalo Bills. They're getting two and a half point. Uh, two and a half points. I'm going to take the Cowboys. I don't like the Bills. I hope they beat them senseless for Mark and all those Cowboy fans out there in Texas here. The Cowboys are going to win this game handily. 28-13 against Mr. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Then we have the Sunday night game, Ravens at Jaguars. Baltimore is a three-point favorite on the road against the Jaguars. <sighs> Jaguars are struggling. I'm going to go ahead and take the Ravens on this one. Ravens win and go to 11-3. and three. And the Ravens, I hope I'm wrong, the Ravens will win this one 28-26. 28 to 20 Jaguars. And last but not least, the Monday Night Football, the Eagles and the Seahawks. Seahawks seem like they're going away a little bit. Seahawks are four point underdogs to the Eagles in a Seahawks uh, stadium. I'm going to go ahead and take the points and the Seahawks. We're going to call it. Um, we're going to say that the Eagles will win 21-20 over the Seattle Seahawks. And that is my predictions for week 15 of the National Football League. And again, my record, 14-13. and 13. Um, And we are looking forward to really scoring a big win this week. Follow me. Subscribe if you want more of, of these insights on the NFL games and predictions and look for some shorts to come out with some of the individual game predictions until then, until we meet again. And I will uh, update on the comments. Tell me who you think is the upset of the week um, and tell me who you feel like is going to lose big. Uh, leave it in the comment section. I look forward to hearing from you and I will give you a shout out. If you do leave a comment, thank you guys. Have a great rest of your day. And good luck this week with all the picks. Peace and God bless.